everybody and welcome back to another JK Ryan Productions video and here today guys I'm going to be talking about my very first half marathon. I'm going to tell you how it went, how did I feel during the race, what things I think I can do better and what things I think I did pretty well. So we're going to talk about all of that guys in this video. If you haven't already, the video is, there's two parts to my very first half marathon video. There's a part one which is about seven minutes long in a part two which is about six minutes long so those links will either be right there or right there make sure to check those videos out and then come watch this video but before I talk about my race guys make sure to subscribe to my channel I do awesome fun race vlogs and now that there's not as many races I'm going to be doing a lot more time trial vlogs so it's going to be really those videos are going to be really good also going to be doing super hype workout videos to get you guys motivated to do your workouts and next video guys is gonna be a shoe review I've talked about doing shoe reviews for basically about three months now but the first shoe review is publishing in my next video so be on the hunt for that guys but let's talk about my very first half marathon so guys here is what happened during my half marathon. Now, the first mile was way too fast. My first mile was 5.51. Now, that's it. That's what I was running for threshold intervals. I, I was not prepared to run that as my first mile of my half marathon and be able to hold that and stay there and not completely drop off. I, w I was not ready to do that, guys. And then it, it also didn't help. My second mile was like 601, and then my third mile was 606. So I started out way too fast. In fact, that first 5K of my half marathon was faster than my first 5K of the cross country season. Now, in a way, you can see how the fitness, how much fitness I have, and I'm in the best shape of my life. But that was way, way, way too fast for what I needed. To run. In fact, I wanted to run more conservatively and then speed it up. Well, guys, that did not happen. So I started out way too fast for the first five games. Then four, five, and six, it just my mile time progressively just got slower and slower by a couple, couple seconds. And then right around the end of that six mile mark, right around seven to eight miles, I meant to. I mentally got him got into my head guys I mentally got into my head ba what my thoughts were you've only ran 10 miles and you still have to run another 5k on top of that 10 miles how are you gonna do that all the way through and then also in my head I was thinking man you started out way too fast than what you needed to for the first 5k so you're gonna be at you're gonna be absolutely dead basically going into this and mentally I I just broke down, and that is when you get this clip. Good. Hey guys, I'm trying to make it all the way through. I had, I had to stop. We're at seven miles, averaging six, 12 pace. Man, this is freaking no joke, everybody. Man, we're running a half marathon. I give a lot. Of, I have a lot of respect for you guys that run these professionally. So, uh, we're gonna walk a little bit, then we'll get started. Now guys, not gonna lie, that I was struggling at that point. I was struggling, I got into my head and I was struggling. But after that, I was able to push through in a way. I did take another stop at around mile 10 to mile 11. I did take another stop. But after that, I just focused on one more step, one more mile, and I kinda just grinded it out to finish out the half marathon it it was definitely a very tough experience going that distance but i think now that i've done that distance before i know if let's say i would go back and do it i would be able to run much faster and i think i would be able to improve hopefully upon my time now the time was an hour 21 minutes and 20 seconds in a way i wanted to get under an hour 20 minutes but Running an hour 21 minutes, I'm really happy with that considering when looking back at my goal of an hour 20 minutes, that was probably a very far-fetched 
goal because that goal was 606 pace which was basically my tempo pace so in a way I knew that hour 20 minutes was a little bit out of reach but I think if I maybe paced myself right I would be able to let's say in another month another two months I decide to do another half marathon I think in a way I could be able to get close to that hour 20 minute range now guys, my plan for the gels is every 5 miles I took a gel, so I took a gel at my 5 mile mark and I took another gel at 10 miles. Now did those gel, I think the gels worked, but I know I need to prepare more using the gels. So let's say I'm doing a longer run, I need to practice taking the gel off, consuming the gel, and getting my body and my stomach used to consuming something like that while I'm running. I did, I mean, I did use the gel on one long run and a distance run to kind of test it out, but I did not, I did not prepare as well, I think, for what I needed to do. Also, guys, I need to practice really drinking water while I'm running. So, I had a water bottle here, but it was interesting. I would get the water bottle and then I would try and drink as much as I could, but it just, it just wasn't as good as I wanted it to so that's another thing I think I can take away from this half marathon but overall guys my main takeaways are this next time I need to start out slower need to start out more conservatively second of all I need to really work on cons on using the gels more I think during my training so that way let's say I go out on a long run we're gonna have a gel at around that five ish mile mark have that gel so that way my body gets used to that. And then also, when I'm on my distance runs on the treadmill, like let's say every 15 minutes, I need to practice having some water during that 15 minutes, so that way my body gets used to that. So those are the three main takeaways. Now, what did I think I did well, guys? Well, the fact that I was able to hold, hold that pace and stay as mentally tough as long as I did, I'm really happy about that. I mean, running that pace for that long was definitely something probably a year ago, even probably a year ago, even six months ago, I don't know if I would think I would be able to do that. So I'm really proud of how mentally tough I was able to stay during that half marathon. And um, I mean, also I'm really happy with the fact that I was able to accomplish my goal of running that 13 mile mark. In a way, I was like, 13 miles, that's a lot. I'm just happy I got to that 13 mile mark and I didn't quit and I kept going with that every step. So guys, that is a breakdown of my very first half marathon. With that guys, that is the video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn those post notifications up for more of my content. New series coming onto this channel. I can't give you too, too many details, but new series coming. Look for that announcement in the next couple videos. Uh, next video should, guy, should be a shoe review, guys. I know I talked about doing shoe reviews for a while now, but first shoe review publishing should be next video. With that, guys, I'll make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Strava, all that stuff. If you follow me on Strava, you can see my training and Instagram. I post a whole bunch of stuff, so make sure to follow me on Instagram, too. And Twitter, guys, I don't have as many Twitter followers, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. Trivia question of the day, guys. Who coaches the Bowerman Track Club? Comment that down below. With that, guys, I'm going to sign off like I always do. The grind never stops.